welcome back. Yes, righteousness consciousness. I hope you have not lost the thought. And I hope this is triggering certain things in your heart and spirit as we ask ourselves, where are we when it comes to these matters? For the Lord longs for us to be clear, you know, to have foundations that are firm and that bring forth meaningful Christian grace and experience, even as the Lord would desire of us. Welcome back, Pastor mm. Mark. Oh, yeah. Sit, walk, stand. Yes, that's where we were. So we were quoting uh, Watchman Nee and yeah. Pastor Asunta. <laughs> no, 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 it's Watchman Nee. Because the Lord also gave you that, <laughs> yes, that, he did. that understanding. Yes, he did. You know, I, book, I got to read that book. Yes. It, which book is that? It's called Sit, Walk, Stand by oh. Watchman Nee. Oh, really? Yeah, very short book. Oh, please. Do you uh, have a copy? Uh, I, I read it on soft copy. Oh, you, someone okay. can download. Oh, okay. And, uh, you will show me how to yeah, download. It's a classic. Wonderful. You know, I would it, love to read that. Yeah. Yes. It's an exposition of the book of Ephesians. Yes. And so Watchman Nee says in that book that chapter 1 to chapter 3 mm -hmm. uh, of the book of Ephesians, it shows us our sitting mm -hmm. position. True. Because sitting is, is positional. Mm -hmm. So in, in the context of righteousness, the privileges, what we were talking about last week mm. and what Christ has done, mm. you know, like mm. what you are mm. reading, you know, for this reason, about my knees mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm. So it shows us the position. Mm. We need to be aware of our righteous position. Amen. And then now from chapter 4 to chapter 6, verse 9, it talks about now our responsibility, walking. He says now walk in love, walk in holiness, how to walk in relationships submission. and submission mm. and all of that. So the walking is connected to the city. Mm, of course. You cannot walk unless you, unless you sit. Yeah. Yes. So then you sit, then you walk. Yes. And then I'll stand from chapter 6, verse 10. Yes. He says, now stand. Yes, with your shoes. Yes. With your feet short. Yeah. So with that, the preparation that talks of, of the gospel victory. Of how yes. to live in victory yeah, yeah, yeah. over the enemy and all of mm. that. So. So the issue of righteousness, yes. I really liked it. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm. So um, I think we need to proceed now mm. and move from righteousness now and go to the sister word, mm. sanctification. Yeah. Yes, please. Sanctification um, is being set apart. Yes. As holy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sanctified, being yeah. set apart mm. as holy. Uh, other words that are connected to that is words like devoted. You have yes. been devoted, yes. uh, consecrated, consecrated, and dedicated. Dedicated. Yeah. Yes. So you're you're consecrated as holy. You are dedicated as holy. So all of that are related to the word. And, and it looks like sanctification has got also to do with ownership, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the lordship of Christ, the yeah. ownership of Christ, mm -hmm. because. In our, I think in a Christian biblical sense, mm. we are sanctified unto, mm. yes, mm. unto, unto God, yes, unto His ways. Mm. So we are sanctified unto an owner mm. for the use mm -hmm. of the owner yeah. of that which He has set apart for Himself. So, mm -hmm. You know, I remember the scripture that talks about the children of Israel living in Egypt and describes the fact that they came, they were called out of mm -hmm. so that they can be brought into. into so yeah. they were sanctified to be called, in, in being called out of, they were sanctified, mm. you know, out of. Yes. But <clears throat> they were also consecrated unto. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that's key. Mm. So being separated from mm -hmm and to be separated to and to and to yes so you are being separated from something yes and you are being taken into something yes so that word sanctification i think is very key it's key it's very key mm. interestingly pastor sunta uh one of the things that our viewers will will, will notice as you study the bible especially the new testament is that many of these realities, I won't, I won't say words, but yes, realities. they are realities. Are both positional yes. and experiential. Absolutely. In other words, it's like an event, Yeah. but that event also has to do with a process. 
So for example, righteousness, we say it's positional. It's like an event. When you are justified, you are made righteous. But then after that, it's like it's a journey we walk. It's the same thing with sanctification. When we came to Christ and we were born again, justified, we were sanctified. True. But then when you read the Bible, you'll notice also sanctification mm -hmm. is not just instant. It's not just an event. Yes. But it is a process. It is like the way you start a marathon. Mm -hmm. You are all on your marks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. yes. And, and you are on your lanes, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a race. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why I think the scriptures are very, you know, they, they compare our walk with a race, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. they, they, oh, and the umpire of mm -hmm. our faith and our walk, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, yes. or if you will, Christ, you know, hits, release, uh, releases the gun. Mm -hmm. Guess what happens? Mm -hmm. Now, yes, you are in the race. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, you are in the uniform. Mm -hmm. Yes, but there are many kilometers ahead <laughs> of you. <laughs> you got to run that thing one step. Yes. One foot ahead and another foot comes from behind. Mm -hmm. And you got to make that progression. Mm -hmm. And I think in, in our day, Mm -hmm. That is the one notion that we need to understand. Mm -hmm. We didn't need to see that. Mm -hmm. That our walk, our call, our faith, our sanctification, our justification, our righteousness. Yes, at some point we were at the starting point. Mm -hmm. But now, Tafadali, please, yes. when the umpire mm -hmm. releases the gun, mm -hmm. run the race <laughs> that, that is, is set, set before, before you. you. Looking wow. unto Jesus, mm. the author and the finisher of, of your faith, faith yeah. of our faith. Mm. I think, Pastor Mark, mm. we have many Christians who came to the starting point, mm. but never left the starting point. It's very unfortunate. Yeah. It's very unfortunate. And I think that is what we mean by frustrating the spirit of grace. Quenching. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um, of course, the Holy Spirit can be in my life. Yes. And when the, the, the Holy Spirit is, 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 a, is a spirit of Christ, and the spirit of the Father. And when he came to the believer, he came for an assignment. He has an assignment to accomplish. Yes, he has. But that as assignment, for him to accomplish that assignment, there has to be a cooperation between him and the believer. Indeed, I think yeah. the, the, the Holy Spirit, mm. just to farm what you're saying, mm. is the one that prepares the bridegroom mm. for the bride. Mm. Sorry, the bride for, for the, the bridegroom. bridegroom. Mm -hmm. The bride is a church. Mm. The bridegroom is Christ. Is Christ yes. And the, if a bride is here, somebody is trying to pamba her, you know, do all those beautiful things, mm. but she's, she's, she wants to go her own way. Mm. She's obstinate. <laughs> she's rebellious. She doesn't think that that garment is the right one. Yes. All that makeup, she's not sure whether she should put that. Mm. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, ho. Yeah. The, the, the best man will be in a lot of trouble. Mm. The best maid will be in a lot of Definitely. trouble. And I Definitely. think the work of the Holy Spirit mm. is so key and yes. it's just a preparation work. Mm. The Bible says that the bride is adorned mm. with the works of righteousness. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. And you know, really, the, the one word you say that is just track a note, mm. that many people have been justified, they have come to the faith, but they have not made any movement. And you know, it's, it's a very... It's a very sad state of affairs. And I, I think even, I wish we can even live there because to mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. that is quite an issue. Mm -hmm. That's the issue. People mm -hmm. genuinely got born again, mm -hmm. but they have never known the sweetness mm -hmm. of brokenness. Yeah. They have never known the sweetness of contentment mm -hmm. in Christ. Mm -hmm. Walking in Christ, simply mm -hmm. just being obedient to Christ, walking with him, yes. you know, day by day, mm -hmm. being changed. Do you remember? Again, I th go back to you. Mm -hmm. You remember the words you talked about, you know, th the things that needs to be changed within a believer. Mm -hmm. The one that uh, has remained with me is motives. Motives. You know, you know, those things, the Lord wants to, 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 to demolish mm -hmm. the old man mm -hmm. so that we can have the new man, the new man. in Christ. And true. it is the work of the Holy Spirit, mm. the grace of God, mm. by His Spirit, yeah. and to sanctification. Mm. Yes. So th this work of sanctification, 
is the work of the Holy Spirit. True. Yeah. And so um, I think I can read a scripture yes. in the book of 2 Thessalonians mm -hmm. chapter 5, verse 23. 2 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23. The Bible says, Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely. Wow. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless at the coming of of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, the, one of the catchwords there is sanctify you completely. Completely. Yeah. Mm. So you see now that talks of uh, a, a, a process. You know, it is a complete. So that means there can be partial <laughs> sanctification, you know. But what God wants is a complete sanctification. And he says that complete sanctification is a sanctification of our spirit, our soul, and our bodies. And there is a work there to be done. There is a work there to be done. And it's the Holy Spirit. And as we've said, it is the believer cooperating with the Holy Spirit so that now that work can be done to perfection and to completion. Yeah. And I think we just yield to the Lord even as, as we are in this program, mm. praying for ourselves and yeah. for our viewers. Mm -hmm that these things would become real, that mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit will not be frustrated mm. in our generation. Yeah. And we, we, we need to go before the Lord and just tell the Holy Spirit, I think we frustrated you too long. Mm -hmm. I'm think, sitting here thinking, and we were talking before we came on to the program, mm. I'm sitting here thinking about times in the days of old when sanctification righteousness and sanctification were a major message mm. nowadays i'm told if you continue preaching like that mm. you may have a very small church mm -hmm. because everybody can come mm. you know and uh, people feel uncomfortable mm. when you start going this direction i hope our program pillars of faith will not <laughs> cause uh, people to stumble <laughs> yeah. we will we'll be yeah. able to will not cause people to feel very of, of, offended and, and you know, yet Okay, before you say, yes, yes, even yes. if we offend, mm. I think we have no apologies to make. Oh, definitely. Yes, and you know, th 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 that's one of the issues that was informing the question I was asking when we began. Okay. Are we belaboring the point? Yes. You know, because sometimes we may feel like, I think we are too much. But I think it's important for us to really labor on a point. My friend. Yes. Pastor Mark, my mm. good friend. Yeah. I think we need to ask ourselves, yes. when we have not belabored mm. this point, mm. look what we have begotten. Yeah, it's true. You yeah. and I mm. are the product of this, this kind of teaching. Mm. It was preached, you went home, mm -hmm. you fought with yourself, you came under great conviction, mm. you cried for your soul and for your life. Mm. And as you did that, the grace was released. Mm. I, I hope it still goes on in us. Yeah. Even, the work even now, the work, the work continues. But yeah. the question is, yeah. when we have not belabored the point, mm. yes. What has been what the have result? We, what has been yeah. the result? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So where, where are the sons of grace in the next generation mm. who are not preaching for money, mm. who are not, who are coming forth, who are coming forth mm. because they are vessels vessels of honor, mm. prepared for the master's use. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many vessels of gold are we getting? And gold is tested. Mm. Why do people want to come into ministry when they have not been tested? Mm. And the test is the test of righteousness. Mm. It's the test of the journey. It's the test of the becoming. Yeah. It is so major that Moses, and to be taken by the Lord, into the desert. Mm. 40 years, yeah. the man waited to fulfill destiny. Mm. Mm. Please continue. I tell you, the, 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 um, I, and, and I believe those of us who are watching and you're a minister, this kind of discussion should inform our form of ministry. True. You know, as you were talking a few minutes ago, um, my mind went to uh, and I'm going to be a little bit theological now, it's but okay. really uh, uh, it's not just going to be theory. Um, the reformed understanding of salvation. The reformed, of course, is what Martin Luther brought and people like John Calvin just to define truth of the scripture. 
And so the, 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 the Reformed theology of salvation, to me, I think, is the most accurate understanding of salvation. Mm -hmm. And it ties down to the issue of sanctification. Mm -hmm. This is how they define salvation. It is that we were saved, we are being saved, and we will be saved. That concept, that understanding of salvation to me, I think is the most accurate. So if we, if we were saved mm, and don't proceed to being saved, mm, we may not be, be saved. saved. Yes. Now that's so strange. When he said when we, we were saved, yes. they talked about justification. Yes. That point yes. where you receive Jesus. Yes. But then they said now, you are saved from the penalty of, of sin. sin. Yeah. But then after that, mm. you are being saved. Yes. Sancti now that now. is sanctification. sanctification. And it says now we are being saved from the power yes. of sin. Wow. So the first one was penalty. Yes. Then leads now to the power. Power. So someone can be saved. Yes. From At the penalty. Yes. Mm. But the power of sin is still, is still alive. So now there has to be a process of being saved from that power of sin. And then we'll be saved now in the future from the presence of sin. Yes. And to me, I think that really captures the whole essence of salvation. Absolutely. And these church fathers understood something. Yes. And, uh, you know, now back to what you are, the, the, the labor of your heart, you know, what are we preaching to our people? What kind of gospel are we bringing to the people? Are we just showing them the justification, their position only, and we are not showing them the process after that, that the Holy Spirit needs to work in us so that we can really be completely sanctified. So we can, yeah. enter, sanctification. can enter sanctification. And sanctification is not, it's not a bad word. Mm. It's not a bad word. Yeah. And uh, that's why we need to be conscious again mm -hmm. of mm. these things. Mm. It took 40 years to remove Egypt from Moses wow. a journey. Wow. A process, mm. yes, mm. so that now he could be sanctified mm -hmm. unto a redeemer. Mm -hmm. Wow. The generation, the generations need to, to come there. Mm. This ones needs to become good music. Yeah. Yes, mm. to our hearts and to our ears. Yeah. So that we can bath the next generation. You know. And, and it, it bothers me sometimes. I keep asking myself, oh my God, mm. what am I giving? Wow. What am I giving? What am I, what am I imparting? Mm. Yes. Mm. What am I imparting to the next generation? Mm. Am I giving them a comfortable Christianity which does not beget the grace which cannot carry the destiny that mm. is theirs? Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's, that, that's very profound. And, and I think also it's important for us to, to really underscore the truth that on matters sanctification, we never come to the end. It's not something that, you know, like for example, us, you know, we are preaching. Yeah. Sometimes mm. the, the, the viewer may be tempted to think, oh, you people, you're oh, saying no, because you're no. perfect. Perfect <laughs> you, what? You have, you have reached, you have arrived. Really, there is nothing like that. You know, it is terrible to think mm. sometimes that, sometimes mm. I've entertained the thought mm. that some of the people maybe I lead mm. are ahead of me when it comes <laughs> to sanctification. <laughs> it's a you are laughing. It's yeah, a terrible it's a thing. thing. It's a very humbling yeah, thing. Yeah. And, and, and saying, oh Lord, please, just pick me up. Just mm. show me. Just mm. help me. Yeah. Every day. And it mm. is an everyday work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why was Pope... Why did Paul meet Christ? Mm. And after that, Paul goes to the Arabian desert. Mm. Yes. Yeah. To deal with the Pharisee, mm -hmm. the chief That of was in him. <laughs> <laughs> the, yes. yes. And yeah. I think this generation, we need to come to a place where we recognize that like Molly Seruro said, mm. I am told, mm -hmm. he said that God never intended to use a man mm -hmm. until he he gave him an experience. Give them an experience. Wow. And that experience wow. must be that experience. Mm. The experience in righteousness, mm. the experience in justification. Yeah. Yes. I tell you, Pastor Sunta, there's so much we can talk about mm. when we're dealing with sanctification. Mm. There's so much, mm -hmm. you know. 
uh, I'm thinking of uh, what are the agents of sanctification? What does the Holy Spirit work with to mm. bring sanctification? Mm. And um, what can frustrate sanctification and what can enhance sanctification? And all those things are very, very important. Mm. And maybe we could go you know, into some of them yeah, just now. Yeah, you mm. know, I think it's, it's John, the Gospel of John, I think it's chapter 16. Jesus talking about the Holy Spirit. In one of those, some of those verses says, when the Spirit of truth come, he will convict you. He will bring conviction. And to me, I think the whole matter of sanctification, just like justification, but now for the believer, sanctification, it's about the convictions of the Holy Spirit. And convictions mm. happen in the spirit of man mm. because of a conscience. Is mm. it a conscience or a conscience? Uh, wherever you want. Whichever. <laughs> yeah. Because of a conscience mm. that is a life. That is a life. And we need to start to understand the place of conscience. Mm. I don't know why I say conscience. Mm. Conscience mm. in the work yes. of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And that is why we need to be careful that's, to... That's profound. Yes. Mm. We need to be careful to have our consciences mm. alive. Mm. Not seared with iron yes, like yes. the scriptures say. Mm. And mm. to death. Mm -hmm. So that when the Holy Spirit comes to, co to do the work of conviction, mm. he finds a lively conscience. Mm. Yeah. A conscience that can, can, can you know, um, can, can, a conscience that can respond mm. to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I think many times we have kicked out the place of conscience. Yeah. Our own conscience. Yes, yes. And it plays such a major, a mm. major role a major. in this matters. Mm. And how do we do that? By yielding to the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and by yielding to, by a continuous walk mm -hmm. that creates liveliness within, mm. that begets life. Yeah. For God sold up the world, mm -hmm. gave his only because whoever believe or have, or do what? Have eternal life. Eternal life, mm. eternal life mm. is a quality of life. Mm. It's a quality of life. Wow. Yes. <laughs> it's not eternal life in the it's future. It's not the quantity it's only, but the quality. The quality, quality of life. Yes, yes. And it's yeah. not the, just the life we'll get when we're out of this world. Mm. No. Yes. It's a quality of life now. Mm. It's, it's an essence of life right now. Mm. And uh, yes. So we walk with the Lord until that life, our consciences remain alive, 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 alive. Mm. So that when we hear the Holy Spirit, we can hear him when he is coming slowly wow. in a still small wow. voice wow. to convict us, to lead us, mm. to compel us, mm. to help us, to teach us. Yeah. Blesses the Holy Spirit. And we need to have that tender heart. That tender heart. Yes. And I think yes. that's what it means to have mm. a living conscience. conscience. Yes. 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 Mm. And also, I think we need to expose ourselves to preaching, mm -hmm. to ministry mm. that provokes <laughs> And confront. And, <laughs> okay, continue. And confront. Yeah, confront. Yes. Yeah. yes. Because I think we have comforted people so much. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I don't need to be pessimistic, but mm. really when we look at the approach of ministry that has been embraced in our time, is a ministry that comforts. True. And so if we are comforted from January to December, we shall be just be comfortable with our status quo. But when you but, start now to confront people, yes. it is going to be chaotic, yeah. Pastor Mark. Uh, they, they react. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that kind of ministry yes. is important. Confrontational you, ministry. It's very important. And of course, it's not confronting out of malice or just being But rude. I think we know what but, we are talking about yes, here. But it's a confrontation that is, it is actually allowing the word to speak for itself. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So you just... You just, you know, amplify the word. Yes. Because the word itself is confrontational in nature. It's a two-edged sword. Yes. It's a two-edged sword. It is. Every time you get into the word, even when you read the scripture by yourself, immediately it will confront you. Yeah. So even when you are alone, even if you are, alone, if you are yeah. genuine, mm, if yes. you are genuine, the word of God mm. will keep making demands. Definitely. Definitely. Yes, mm. and calling you out <laughs> and disturbing you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, so we were yeah. talking about the agents of sanctification. Yeah, so I think we, we mentioned... We, 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 uh, I was talking about the issue of conviction. conviction. So Jesus said this, mm. 
He said, when the Holy Spirit comes, he, he will, will convict, convict you. you. And then he mentioned three things. Yes. Of sin. Yes. Of righteousness. Mm -hmm. And of judgment. True. Now, so the Holy Spirit, the spirit of sanctification is working in me mm. as a believer. He brings conviction mm. and says, this is sin. Mm. And some of the things that he will convict you and I of sin mm. are things that probably in the past we were very comfortable. Yes. We didn't say anything wrong. Yes. But then now the Holy Spirit now begins to convict you and say, this is sin. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we can be very stubborn. True. We still linger on that thing. Oh, yeah. But then the Holy Spirit will always prevail. Yes. And then he says, now this is sin. But then he does not just convict you of sin. Yes. But he shows you the alternative. Absolutely. He tells you now, this is sin, but this is righteousness. This is what is right. Yeah. So make a decision. Make a decision. And that is what yeah. the, the that is in sync with what um what the Bible talks about when uh, when 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 this this first son there was Cain and Abel mm, when mm. Cain killed his brother. Abel. What does the Bible say? Sin is at your door. Yes, yes, you can also be accepted if you do well. Yes, yes. But sin is at your door. And you must but master. your desire mm. must be to master it. <laughs> you must master it. Wow. Meaning, sin is at your door. Yes. It is for you mm -hmm. to open the door mm -hmm. or to close the door. Yes. 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 So this is the alternative. Mm. There is an alternative and mm. it's the work of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And he is saying, make the right choice. Mm. Continue after righteousness. Yes. So after righteousness, then judgment. Judgment. So now judgment mm. is where you are not just dealing with sin mm. and righteousness mm. by themselves, but now the Holy Spirit now is telling you how to make decisions on every matter. Mm -hmm. So it begins by sin. sin. You're just, it's just showing mm. you sin, sin, sin. Then now you move to the next level. He begins to show now this is righteous, this is righteous, this is righteous. But then now you advance further where you come to a place where you need you, you are able to make the right decisions even before you act. You are able to judge the situation. You judge the situation. Because yeah. your conscience is alive. Yes. You are able to judge the situation and thereby judge yourself. Mm. And if you judge yourself, yeah, then you, need, you do not have need of any man to you judge. You don't need any yeah. man to judge yeah. you. Mm. That is profound. Mm. That is wonderful. Mm. We give God the glory. Yeah. We have an opportunity to handle those sister words. We mm. are we are deliberately, Pastor Mark, belaboring the point. Mm. <laughs> oh yes, deliberately. May the yeah. Holy Spirit yes. find people mm. who would be friendly mm. to this kind of talk, mm. and uh, who He will brood over mm. as Christ awaits for the bride mm. that must come forth. Not just to be wedded to him or given to him on that final day, mm. but a bride that is prepared for today. Mm. To do all the things that a bride does, yeah. the wife of, the, of Christ, yeah. who is the church. Mm. To love him. To be taught to be intimate with him because that's what we are doing right now. Mm, we are mm. teach, we, this teaching goes to teach men and women to be intimate, to do what yeah, a bride does. Yes, to admire, to worship, mm. to exalt, to mm. serve, to be there for her king. Mm. Hallelujah. You can give your parting shot. I think for me, I'll say, Pastor Sunta, that um, to our viewers, um, God is looking for a holy people. And I believe that uh, the whole message of holiness is important. And the church, in our time, we need to revisit that ancient foundation. And all the things that we have talked about the, the last two programs, the issues of uh, justification, uh, righteousness, and sanctification, really unfolds and unpacks the whole issue of holiness. And uh, Peter said to the church, uh, the demand that God has placed on us, be holy, for I am holy. And therefore, uh, may we consider these matters and the Lord will help us. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Good night. I hope this has been a great blessing to you. Pray for us. We pray for you. In the name of Jesus, have yourselves a good night. This is Elevate TV. And please keep watching and tell someone about it. See you in the next program. God bless you. We commend you to his grace.